Hey, welcome back. My name's Allison. I'm an IBCLC and a breast pump expert and a mom of three little boys, which is awesome. We're here to talk about today the five biggest mistakes that I'm seeing with moms who are combining breastfeeding and pumping. Combining breastfeeding and pumping is really my area of expertise. I have a program called Pumping for Working Moms where we specialize in doing this. Combining breastfeeding and pumping, especially for working moms because you have it hard, right? All parents have it hard, but my heart goes out to you guys. So if you want to work directly with me and avoid all of these mistakes and figure out how to do all this, you can contact me in the link in the description. I look forward to meeting you. There's also going to be a lot of video links down below because a lot of these topics I've done more in-depth videos on. So if you want more information on one of these particular things, check down there because those videos will be there. You can watch next. Okay. So let's just jump right in. The first mistake that I see moms make and it's a big one too, is assuming you have low milk supply because you have low pumping output. All right. Low milk supply is when you're not producing enough milk for your baby. Okay. We actually don't have enough milk there and we're having to supplement and do other things to bring that up. Low pumping output is when you're not pumping enough milk for your baby. That can mean you have low milk supply, but more often I see it means that you are not able to pump out the milk that is already there, especially for moms combining breastfeeding and pumping. Your milk supply is controlled by two different things, a baby and a pump. And so the baby's thriving at the breast, but you're not pumping enough for while you're separated from them or whatever. That to me is a pumping problem. It can be really hard to tell the difference though. So <laughs> go watch that other video on get a little bit more clarity there. Number two is an inappropriate pumping schedule. And I think when we, especially when moms go back to work, they come up with that like dynamite schedule and great that works. But what I see happening when you're combining breastfeeding and pumping, the first is that moms are pumping too often. And if you're feeding at the breast and pumping on top of that, I always ask you why, what are your goals here? Why are we doing that? Sometimes that is part of the way that we get to our goals. If you have low milk supply or uh, we're working on building up some milk before you go back to work, that can be a great thing. But too often I see moms adding pumping to breastfeeding and creating exhaustion and a lot of unnecessary work for themselves, maybe for a fear of low milk supply, but they don't actually need to be pumping, right? And then on the other end of that, we could also be pumping too little. So if you're skipping pumping sessions at work or you are doing more pumping than breastfeeding and you're not hitting all of those milk expressions in a day that you need to, this is also not appropriate and you will not continue to make a good milk supply for your baby. So depending on where you're at, depending on what you're doing, what your overall goals are, we really need to find the schedule that's most appropriate for you. And then you do need to stick to it if you want the results that you're looking for. Sometimes this is not pumping at all. You can go watch that video if you want. The third mistake that I see some moms make is they're pumping incorrectly and using the pump settings correctly and the techniques while you're pumping, maximizing your letdowns, pumping the right amount of time, setting it up correctly, using the appropriate parts and products to go along with that, you know, bras, accessories, things like that. There's a lot that goes into pumping. It's really not just plug and play, right? So we can't just like put on a pump, push, go, and then it just works all the time. In fact, that doesn't happen very often. I think the biggest issue aside from the pump that I see moms doing incorrectly is definitely the flange sizing. And I know this can be a hard thing to tackle and feel like you're getting right, um, but it makes a huge difference. So we really have to learn how to use the pump and all of those accessories and parts correctly, and then also get the right sizing on the breast, find the right, right time to pump for you. And this is all aside from the schedule. You know, this is just like the actual session of using the pump can be really overwhelming. And I honestly see a lot of moms doing at least one or two parts of this incorrectly. Breastfeeding is different than pumping. You have two different skill sets here. So, I mean, you're really learning a whole new thing when we start entering the pumping world from the feeding at the breast world. Okay, number four is unrealistic expectations. Now, depending on what you're doing, your milk supply and your milk output will likely look different than someone else's, okay? An oversupply and a deep freezer full of milk is just not realistic for everybody. And honestly, most people with an oversupply will probably tell you that it kind of sucks sometimes. So that's not necessarily the goal 
either. It might be. It might be the thing that you need to calm your anxiety and to make this work for you. And that is what it is. You got to stop pumping early, like whatever, no judgment from me. But I think setting up realistic expectations is really important. This particularly applies to mothers who are combining breastfeeding and pumping, because like I mentioned, you have two different things managing your milk supply. And so your milk supply will likely look like someone who is just a nuffer. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about that term. I actually like it because it is clear, but it has kind of a negative connotation. And I think that being a just a nuffer is awesome, right? And you're breastfeeding your baby and then you're pumping out the milk that is there. Your baby has created the perfect supply for you. So really, if you're pumping, if you have just enough milk, you're actually doing like a perfect job. So I wish that term had a little bit more good vibes to it because I think it's great. And honestly, this is what we expect with someone who's combining these two things, unless you're intentionally adding in extra pumping sessions to boost that up or whatever. So again, there's a whole nother video on milk supply and the different scenarios and what you might expect there, which I would encourage you to watch. And the number five biggest mistake that I see moms make when they're combining breastfeeding and pumping is losing sight of their goals. Don't forget why you're pumping. Okay. And I don't know why you're pumping. So if you don't know either, maybe you shouldn't be pumping. (laughs) If you're a working mom and heading back soon, I can help you make this better. I've created a step-by-step guide for you on making pumping fast and efficient while you're away from your baby. If you're tired of watching random YouTube videos and trying to piece together everything by yourself or seeing lactation consultants with no experience in pumping, that's exactly what I'm here for. So let's chat. You can find a link down in the description and I'd love to help you. I mean, really, I think the biggest thing is just keeping in mind your goals. Why are we doing this? And I think that can help us with all of these things, getting up more realistic expectations of what's going on, pumping correctly, we can help with that, right? Getting that right schedule and figuring out if your milk supply is fine. You know, how do you feed your baby with paste bottle feeding stuff? There's just like a lot of things that go into making all of this work. It's really a balancing act. And I I love helping moms juggle that all. One of my favorite things to do is to see what we can take out of that versus what we can put in. So if that resonates with you, that's what I do. I just want to leave you with one last thought as we finish up this video. And that is I encourage you to focus on the things that you are doing instead of the things that you are not doing. I know it can be really overwhelming, especially in early motherhood, to see all of these things that you're not doing or that someone else is doing better than you. And just kind of focusing on those. But if you're feeding your baby, you are doing a lot, regardless of how you're doing that. Motherhood is no joke and it is not for the weak. And so stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop thinking, man, I really should be pumping even though breastfeeding is going fine because I have a pump and I should use it, you know, or I'm going to go back to work. I just had my baby. So I got to start like right now doing that. Not necessarily. Okay. (laughs) So Again, if you want some help, let me know. But I hope this helped give you some common mistakes that I see in mothers who are combining these two things and maybe help you avoid that. I've done several videos like this on the most common mistakes in various areas, and I'll put those down below for you too. So I'd love to see you on another video. In fact, here's one right over here that you can go watch next and let me know what you think. All right, good luck. Bye.